Mr. Cena, old me to see you as always. Very well, mate. Looking very sharp, Thank as we've so come much. to expect. Uh, we spoke a few years ago. You're telling me you were learning uh, Mandarin, but you seem yes. to be a man who's been more busy as the years go on and on. Have you had any time for yourself anymore to be picking up new skills and things like that, or are you just full on at the moment? Man, we, are all, we always have time. It's just a matter of how we choose to spend it. That's a very good point, very good point indeed. Uh, you're joining us here in London's Leicester Square, colourful uh, carpet, one of our finest directors. You were, you were shooting another movie with um, Idris Elba around the corner from where I lived uh, last year. Coming a bit of a, an Anglophile, you think? Are you feeling at home over here? Uh, London is one of my favourite cities in the world. That's, that passion started for me with coming here and, and performing in front of crowds with, with WWE. It's one of the most exciting, energetic audiences to be in front of. And then you get out in the city and you realize that energy doesn't stop. I love this place. Uh, speaking of energy, you've been putting a lot of your focus on, uh, on the film business and your acting career over the last few years, trying lots of different exciting roles. How is life for you at the moment? I mean, this is another one. It seems like this is the kind of movie you, you can have a real blast on uh, behind the scenes. Uh, behind the scenes in front of the camera too. Uh, you said a Matthew Vaughn universe is a wonderful thing. This is a, one of the most talented, thorough, complete people involved with any production. He, not a frame is wasted and not a, not a piece is out of place. And it's, I'm just grateful to be part of that universe. Teaming up with Henry Cavill, one of the first people, maybe the first person I've seen, uh, seen in the film to make Henry Cavill look small on the screen. What was, uh, what was that chemistry like? I always operate under the construct of never be the smartest person in the room. And when I get to perform across from uh, Henry Cavill, that's a chance to sit under the learning tree. And man, he, he has a gravity to him, no doubt. I, uh, I hope this isn't the last one for the both of us. You guys uh, hit the gym together at all uh, while you're out there? Or? He would wear me out. I don't uh, know. Oh man, it, it, uh, that's, I, I, I have a lot of uh, gratitude for where I'm at, but man, I, I know when I'm punching above my weight class, he would wear me out. I don't know, man. I'm sure there's some people who would disagree with that. And, and a quick word, uh, I saw a lot of the excitement around uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson kind yes. of stepping back into WWE recently. I'm one recently. of those excited folks, man. I'm, I'm sure, but you, you, we, people are going to be looking at you as one of those great figureheads uh, from that time period. Over the last 20 years there, uh, there's a big new deal with, with Netflix. Does that kind of get your, I know you talked about retirement, does that give you that kind of, that little, that flutter to, uh, to step back in the ring again in, in one of those I, I haven't events? lost that flutter. You guys got to understand, when I talk about retirement, I'm, I'm strictly looking at the odometer. You know, I'm, uh, I'm like a, a, a fine classic car. I need about two and a half hours to warm up. You can drive me for 30 minutes, and then you got to take me back to the shop and, and fix all the leaks. Uh, I, I really hats off to Dwayne, who is now officially The Rock. I think it's fantastic. His business acumen has put him in another universe on a planet by himself, and that's why he's on the board, and that's why he's got his position with TKO. Um, again, when I talk about retirement, I just look at the landscape of all the young superstars. They're friggin' great, and it's their time to shine. And I know I'm uh, feeling a little more bumps and bruises these days, so I just, you know, uh, existing in, in life with fulfillment to me is about long-term health. I just want to make sure I keep this and this in the right place. Well, you're certainly not showing those bumps and bruises, sir. And just a, a quick word on what's going forward for you. Espinal seems like quite a good, a good look on you. And, and, and you told me <laughs> once, you told me once that you, you kind of know where your roles are, and you don't see yourself in a, in a period piece or something like that. But there's got to be a few different uh, ideas floating around in that head of yours for the next two years. What can we expect to see uh, you maybe, on, on the big screen? Maybe I could do a period piece. There's, all, there's always a blacksmith in the village, right? <laughs> yes, maybe a period piece. I've changed my mind. Mate, the way you dress and the, the amount of time you spent in the UK, we, we could see you as a, a, a high lord of some sort. That's no need cool. to be a high lord. I'll just be a local at the pub taking life one pint at a time. Well, you're always welcome down mine, mate. Congratulations. Have a great night and look forward to seeing what you do next. Thank you so much. Thank you.